I can't begin to describe to you how excited I am to be here in this room field with so many brilliant young activists from the disability world all over the globe. This will be the 19th International AIDS Conference, and we're tired of attending conference after conference after conference and seeing that people with disabilities are completely left out. Uh, there is a thinking or belief, I mean, from some people, especially from uh, rural areas, that uh, persons with disabilities can't be infected with HIV AIDS. Edgar has written his down. He said in Uganda, persons with disabilities are seen as a cause. People believe they are not productive. And when it comes to HIV AIDS care and support, they are left out. And in Barbados, one of our issues is the parents with persons with disabilities. They believe that their children should not be educated. So they stop the um, school system from educating the children. And also when you go to purchase condoms or anything else, people look at you and ask, why do you want these? You shouldn't be having sex because you have a disability. Children or youth are not exposed to sexual reproductive information. I would like to underline that it is important to make wide coalitions of civil society organizations of persons with disabilities in order to make a, a stronger effort and uh, advocacy. Here and around the world, disabled people with, who may not have AIDS are working with other disabled people who do to share information, to help them learn about their rights, to say, you have a right to continue to live your life. You have a right not to experience discrimination. The most uh, problem, the awareness of the society and how the society, we d they deal with us, that uh, affects us, especially most uh, society deal with us uh, by sympathy or disrespect. And I am one, I'm one of the persons who nearly got infected with HIV. And uh, just because my awareness was so small. We cannot achieve zero discrimination, zero um, death related cases about HIV and AIDS, zero um, zero HIV AIDS infections if we do not include persons with disabilities. I want to beg you never to give up. Just absolutely never give up. Because if you keep at it and your courage and your strength and your resolve is always there, then one day you'll break down those walls of discrimination and disregard. Nothing about us without us. Uh, I, think that I think now everyone is ready to be a noisemaker, is it? Uh, I think everyone is going to be a noisemaker. Uh, we are not going to keep quiet now.